So we did some of the basics. Uh, we made their fancy little ridiculous bones. Uh, now I would like to show you some different methods uh, for making what, well, in this case, I'm going to use uh, to make some different utensils, but it's basically different ways that you can use the form edit tool spaces and, or the form spaces to really do some more manipulating. So let me change over. Back old of fusion. So we did our spoons, pretty straight, straightforward, pretty generic stuff. With this, I want to show you how to, one, I'm going to make a uh, pasta spoon. So with all the, all the little tines, um, that'll make use of the uh, radial symmetry tool. And I'll show you how to, how, or a method to make like a knife. So first let's, actually, let's go ahead and make a couple components. So pasta spoon, do not activate it. And do another of basic nice. Hey, I actually spelled them. And last thing is save. Other utensils. All right. So first, make it a spoon. Pasta spoon. Sorry, it's playing Mario again. Anyway. Go to form workspace and first i'm going to treat this very much the same way that we did the uh first break basic spoon i'm going to use a sphere now i'm going to start this <clears throat> pardon me right in the middle the only real reason for this is because i can um i don't know let's see an 80 millimeter spoon scoop sure why not let's say 80. now for this i do want to add extra faces so let me use a slider Oops, not less, more. And the reason for this is I want to be able to alternate faces. Or I could use it, or I could divide some stuff up. It doesn't really matter, but in this case, let's see here. Where was it? With 12, 8, and eh, that might be a little bit unnecessarily complex. Yeah, we'll stick with 8. All right. Actually, we'll stick with 8, and then I can mess with it more. So I'm actually going to deactivate the symmetry first and build it from there. So first things first, like it did before, I'm going to chop this in half. So from the right, select all the things above, delete. All right. Now I want to add symmetry to the top here. So I'm going to bring in, and I want circular symmetry this time. So what this will do, you select the first face, and then you can add more. It gives you possible options. If you select over here, it'll give you symmetry eight ways. Over here, four, and over here, two. I want eight. I want lots. I want all the symmetries. There we go. All right. So the reason for this is now what I can do is I can actually add thickness to this already and make my scoop. But first, let's go ahead and kind of reshape this just a touch. Uh, go to edit form. By vertices again. I'm going to switch on my soft modifications again, extent stuffs, all that. That is fine and dandy with me. And all I'm going to do is just kind of stretch this out a little bit first. Kind of sort of the same. Oh, big, but because I have radial symmetry active, it's not going to let me do much. So actually, I forgot, can't do that. So let's cancel, leave it as is. We'll warp it afterwards. So what I can do instead is I can at least do the squishing. So same by vertex. Let's smoosh this down a bit. What is my, eh, I'll leave soft modification off. We'll just squish it in just a touch here. Oops, too much, too much. There we go. Smoosh. Probably should have left on the uh, symmetry or the uh, soft modification. Smooth this out a little bit. I'll try to tweak this just a bit so it's a little bit less flying saucer. Okay, that'll work. All right. So before I added a handle to this, and I still can, but I'm going to show you a couple of different options here. With this first, what I need to do is I'm going to actually use the thicken first, thicken this area. We'll use a soft, that's okay. Uh, two millimeters, sure. Thickness, there we go. Now I have a really basic bowl. The reason for this is I want to drag some of these points upwards. 
So a simple way I could do this is because I have radial symmetry on, reactivate edit form, and I want to do my faces this time, I want to grab one of these faces, just one, not the edges, because I want this to split. So I'm going to press and hold alt and drag upward. You can see how that automatically starts to divide everything. Now let me go ahead and shrink this down, scale these down to a point. Oops, wrong one. Trying to grab the scale option. There we go. A little bit more pointy. If you need, you can, of course, tweak that. That's pretty sharp. So actually, I think what I'll do instead is do a uniform scale and drag that inward. There we are. A bit more of a pointy thing. But in all reality, this is kind of a little bit too large. I'm making more like half of a, a, a half of like a toy egg. So let me control Z out of all this. And what I instead want to do is I'm going to actually split these faces up first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use insert edge. What this does is it simply adds an additional edge. This is where I was saying you can start with a simple form and add complexity later. Because I don't need edges all the way through the bowl. I just want them on this top lip. So I select there. Select just that upper edge, just where it goes up and over. And it's going, to add a, it's going to add an edge halfway between the selected edge and the next. But because this is symmetric, or because I have mirror symmetry on, or sorry, uh, circular symmetry on, it should divide everything around. And it did. Great. So the problem is I have an even number, and I just made it twice as many. I really actually kind of needed it odd. So instead, let me control Z, redo that. Insert edge. Select that edge again. Sometimes it's a little wonky to do. And what I'm going to do is instead of single, I'm going to add it to both. So it'll do it on both sides. But uh, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. A lot more points. Actually, it did exactly the same because it just it's all mirrored. <laughs> all right, one more time. Let's try this way. What I'm trying to do is just a simple way of uh, snapping stuff in here. This edge is being a pain to get to. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just dragging that edge closer. So let's say 0.25. So now when I create these, now it's going to divide this even more. Basically, all I did was 0.25. It was just instead of it being halfway between one, one edge and the next, there's a quarter of the distance. And because it's on, it's on um, both sides, should say symmetrical. So it's on both sides of that edge. Now when I hit it, hit OK, it's going to do a lot more. And apparently that lot more got real wonky. Huh. I'm thinking this might not be the best method. Let's try one more. I thought that would work pretty nicely, but apparently it's not. So what I might have to do is do this each time, and I don't want to do that. So uh, fine. We'll just stick with simple. 1.25. That might work. Same diff. Darn. All right, fine. I was hoping that would work nicely, but it didn't. So we'll just kind of cheat here anyway. So I'll come on. Let me select that. There we are. Back to 0.5 right in the middle. We'll make that work. Okay. Divides it all. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Divides it all nicely enough. That'll work. All right. So I was just trying a couple of different methods. I was hoping one would work out a little bit more than I wanted or a little bit better. It looks like it's wavy on top, but it's actually not. It's just how I'm looking at it. It's just a it's just a trick of the perspective. So let's go back to um, edit form by face, and I'm just going to select a side of that. And again, I want to press and hold Alt, drag upward. So now all I wanted was just that little bit more space between. That's that's it. So again, that worked. That was pretty good. Let's. Scale that down a bit, a little bit pointier, and you can either continue to drag that up, or you can press and hold Alt and create another break, and that just allows you to drag that further. So that is a pretty gnarly looking pasta spoon, <laughs> and that's where this would be important to, you know, like, actually use a reference point. Okay, so let's say that looked good. Let's just pretend it does. All right. So 
Now, I would want, want to actually stretch this. Most pasta spoons are not circular. They're a bit more elongated. This is where one of the times where you would actually want to deactivate symmetry. So I'm gonna, let's switch back up to top. Go to symmetry, and I want to clear symmetry from this body. Select OK. There we go. So I'm not going to be modifying any more of that. That's going to work for now. So what I can do, edit form, again by vertex. Mm, actually, I think I might need to do this by edges. It might be a little bit easier to grab stuff. So essentially, I just want to grab from the one side to the other. Oops. Let's try this way. Mm, this is going to be a little bit, a little bit awkward to grab everything. So what I might actually need to do, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grab half of this and drag it out. So what I might actually need to do instead first is because of the way the uh, alignment is set, I'm going to grab this whole thing, move, and rotate it so that it's more of in line that way. And eh, close enough. Again, this is a very quick and dirty way of doing this. There are much better ways of doing it. Um, so now I've got that axis kind of aligned. Use the edit form. Uh, should be able to do it by vertex now. Yeah, sure. All right. Hmm. It's not letting me get a clear path across. There we are. So I'm just trying to drag this out a little bit. That's all. I think I'm making it a lot worse. But I just wanted to be able to show you how you could play around with that, that uh, circular symmetry. All right. Now, from there, because I've already deactivated the uh, symmetry, this is obviously not going to go well. Uh, if I try to or if I try to tweak this one way or the other, I can try to edit form, and I can try and drag one face outward, and that might let me make a decent spoon handle. Press and hold Alt. Now, the problem is you can see it's obviously dragging that whole bit of face there. So let's Control Z that. And I can try selecting something lower down. Not good. Not good at all. It's pretty wonky. OK, that's fine. Like I said, I wanted to experiment, see what would happen. That's not really going to work nearly like I'd like it to. So let's cancel that. What I'm going to need to do is create a handle separately. So we'll do it like we did before. Rotate down again, just so it's a little bit easier to align everything. Zoom out. Let's create a plane, or let's create a uh, plane on that center line. Make sure you're on the center line. Something, something kind of, sort of like that. Don't hit enter, hit, uh, just hit the key. Let's add some edges to it, just like we did before. I do want to add mirror lengthwise. Great. Okay. This would this I can treat just like we did before. Now let's do it by edge. Let's drag that one out a fair bit. Uh, I guess we'll go back to by point. <laughs> Shrink that in a little. Shrink that in a little bit less. That one's fine. That one will drag outward. Whoop. Hit OK for now. Delete that vertex so it rounds things out. Actually, I think I'll leave that one chunkier. There we go. That works nicely, I think, ish, for now. Fine. Same. We'll add the thickness to this. Uh, two millimeter. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. All right. So I have a really rough, actually, probably too thin a handle. Now let's add a little bit of thickness to this just so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Like we did before, kind of inflate this a bit. Uh, grab both of those, bring that up a little bit. All right. So what I want to do is I want to join these two together, but I don't, but I'm not going to be using like our standard join combine tools. I'm going to use a bridge tool, but before we used a bridge tool just to bridge two surface forms together. These already have dimension. These already have thickness to them. So what I want to do first is I want to move this body into position. So select that, press M, move. 
I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Let's go to the left side. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to align basically this front face here with this face here. And that's kind of sort of close enough. You can, of course, put it closer, but that'll be fine for now. Select OK. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select there and I'm going to delete that face. See, like I said before, it will automatically create more of like a rounded shape. Same on this side. More or less rounded shape. Perfect alignment for creating a bridge. The bridge doesn't only have to work on a um, surface. However, it does need to have a matching set of edge lines. But this looks good. There's one, two, three. Mm, that bottom one might be problematic. We'll see. Because on the candle side, there's six edge lines, three on either side. That one in the center, that long one might be problematic. We'll find out. Let's try it. Go to modify, bridge. One side, double click this time so it selects the whole side. Go to side two, orbit over, double click so it selects. Ah, there it is already. Warning. Edges from one side must be equal to a or a multiple of the other. So it needs to actually be even or at least some way of multiplying between. All right, that's problematic, but at least it gave us that error. No problem. I already saw the where the issue is. So I'll hit cancel. Orbit down. All I need to do is just create another edge here. So I'll go to select my edge. Select there. Nope, I need to go the other way. So over there, so let's say negative 0.5. So it'll be smack in the middle. Hopefully that doesn't make everything go haywire. Select OK. All right, we were able to split that up. Now try it again. Go to Modify, Bridge. First one, double click. Side two. Double click. Unable to bridge periodic to non-periodic. Well, now you're just being a jerk. Let's try it. Let's see if it'll do it. Let's see if it'll do it. You said you couldn't do it. It looks like it done did it. One of the sides does not contain symmetry. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, so the issue there is I probably should have turned off symmetry. All right. So that means clear symmetry from that. All right. Error went away. Okay. That is a super rough handle. And a far more horrifying, looks more like a torture device instead of a you know kitchen utensil. They often kind of line up. But that is a way that you can play with the different symmetries um, and tweak these. Now, there are, of course, so many different ways you can play with all of these tools. Um, one of the ones, if you're trying to actually smooth this out, one of the nice uh, tools is Cylindrify. It tries to do exactly like it sounds. It makes uneven geometry smooth into more cylindrical shape. I want to try it on one of these tines. Select there. and. You're going to select faces. So I'm just going to drag all the things. It selected everything. That's, I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> okay. I think it, it's worse because it, look how thin it made in that section. So, all right. That didn't work nearly as well. Probably should add thickness to it. I probably should have made this whole uh, bowl thing a little bit thicker, but... That's a really quick and dirty way of using the uh, circular symmetry thing. All right. So let's save that. Terrible pasta spoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> finish form, make sure that there's no horrifying errors. All right. So yeah, the uh, medieval torture device slash pasta spoon, done. Except for I didn't add any holes in the bottom. You should probably do that. Otherwise, it's just uh, going to scoop pasta water and nightmares. All right. So let's hide this abomination and make something else. <laughs> I'm going to switch over to the other, uh, other component I started. Uh, and I want to show you a way that you could make a knife. Yeah, I know. That sounds kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, okay, we'll show you how to make this. Okay. All right. So again, we're using this workspace. So the way I have found that's best to do something like this is definitely making two bodies. 
So first, I'm going to create a plane. And this time, instead of a center point, I want to use two point. So I'm going to start on one and just work my way over. Let's see what seems reasonable-ish. Let's just make it 50 by 200. OK. Ah, so yeah, hit Enter. Instead of left clicking, that's all right. I can work with this. So essentially, what I'm going to need to do is modify this. And this is just a basic plane, and it has four faces. I can always divide those up more. So you can, of course, go to Edit Form. We're going to work by Vertex here, and I can drag stuff in and out. Now, I would highly recommend something like this. Let's dial down my options just so I don't overly confuse myself. So I'm going to drag some points out. Ah, I accidentally added symmetry. Let's cancel out of that and clear that symmetry off of there. I didn't realize that was still going to be an option. What it does is the reason it added symmetry with it. Well, one, again, I hit enter instead of left clicking. It saves your previous selections. So if you added symmetry, and like I had on the previous one, I added symmetry lengthwise, it saved that. And that was exactly what it did again. So I just wanted to remove that symmetry from there. Go back to edit by point, vertex, there we go. So I'm going to drag this outward a little bit. And you'll see where I'm going with this is obviously making kind of a point. Well, that's a pretty grisly looking knife. So what I'm going to do is like we've done with the handles, I hit OK. And I'm going to select one of these vertices and delete it. It automatically rounds it over. So that's a really simple way of making a that larger curve. Now you could, there's other ways you could do that that involve like splitting bodies and things like that, but we're gonna stick with what we got right here. Okay, so that would be a very, very simple knife. You can of course add more things as you like. But I want to create thickness to this because there's obviously it's only a single surface deep. So we'll go to thickness. Select that plane. <clears throat> Let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's go to three millimeters just so we have something to work with. Now, what I want to switch out from is I would actually want it a sharp surface or a sharp thickened type. Actually, in this case, <clears throat> you could potentially use no edge, but, and I'll show you why in a moment, but in this case, I'm going to use sharp so we already have the backing built in and such. Okay, so now the sharp thickening kind of acts more like a extrude, just more of if, if, if this were curved, it would work differently. All right, so a way you can turn this from like, you know, chunky to sharpie, whatever, is now I can actually delete these faces and then weld these vertices together. This is what I was talking about about weld vertices. So let's select these faces first, zoom in, select a few of these, and I'm just selecting on the leading edge. Select there, hit delete, and because everything else is supported, you see it's basically like a big envelope. Now, down here is gonna cause a problem, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna go to modify. Where are you? with ah, weld vertices. Okay. So what this does is it just brings things together. So I'm going to go to weld vertices and you can see it highlights vertices again. Makes sense. I can add, I can keep creases, but let's work with this for now. So what you do, same as before, what you select first what is what will move. What you select second is to where it will move to. So I'm going to select this upper one, the lower one, snaps down. Same again, back here. Snaps down, kind of starts creating this curvature. That's okay. Let's see if this works. Great, it did with the uh, with the uh, uh, edge deleted. Okay, I was worried. I couldn't remember if it would work or not. Same, go to the point. Whoop. Now that shrank it a whole bunch because I was deleting more information. You can try a couple of the options. Things like keep creases. Doesn't make any changes. Vertex to vertex. That was just snapping in. Midpoints. That's not going to change anything because we've already made our adjustments. Okay. That'll work. So that's a really simple way that you can 
create that edge. Now, of course, if I want to add more details to this, this is where I could also try to do things like insert edge. Problem is, as you see, because I deleted a um, vertex here, it leaves the artifact artifact of that vertex. So ideally, I would create an edge and that would go out. But if I keep going down, selecting more faces, now you can see it's going to leave me with more stuff to work with. It's not going to create such a wonky little thing there. So great. I can move this upwards. Problem is, is see, that's going to break that edge. It sometimes it does some really weird stuff with the geometries. So you might have to just play with what you got here. That'll work. All right. Now, ideally, I'd like this on the other side, too. I can try to see if both sides work. Oh, good, it does. So I'm able to create an edge on both sides. And this would just be to allow me to um, create some more features. That's all. I'm going to see how far up I can get or how far I can tweak this without it going completely bananas. And that works OK. Select OK. And it just allowed me to have more features. That's all. So I can play with those, just more, more space to work with. OK. Um, from here, I can create a body separately for the handle. I'm going to try something else. I want to try just by selecting of the face here. I want to create, if, you, if you're familiar with knife making, creating a tang, where well, that would be like the center of the handle. I just want to see if this will work. Press and hold Alt, drags out. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. So that can work. Um, yeah. Sort of, kind of. You can, of course, uh, you could, of course, do some more deleting things, things like that, but that can work. So that's not bad. Simple knife. From there, I would want to create a handle. And what I could do is just, I could either start with like a plane and tweak that, um, or I could say if I wanted to do something uh, less directly, like I said, you can use your other tools. I just wanted you to predominantly use the <clears throat> form workspace. So let's try finishing form. No errors. Yay. From here, let's create a sketch. Straight up and down. I don't know why it rotates like that sometimes. And let's just make kind of a box that will become a simple handle. So drawing straight, <clears throat> excuse me, straight up, going on back, and something, something mm, that-ish. Okay, and if you want, you could even go and add like, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of an up and down thing to create a Curved handle. Let's kind of drag some stuff around. It's not a good handle, <laughs> but you get the idea where I'm going. Again, you get where I'm going with that. All right. Hit OK. <clears throat> Screwed that profile. Now, be mindful of where you are in relation to things because that original um, form only when the thicken only operated in one direction. So with something like this, you could either do like a two-sided thing to where you're going up enough and down enough, or tell you what, let's cancel it. And instead, let's try to move that whole sketch. Select all of it. And hopefully there's nothing locking it in place at the moment. There we go. Move it between. So let's say move it 1.5 up. Cool. There we go. And again, I'm just doing this to help kind of simplify some stuff. Go to extrude because now that sketch is kind of floating right in the middle there. Select my sketch. Now I can do it symmetrically. That's all. That's the only reason why. Do it that way. Yeah, come on. Symmetric. Drag it up and out. I do not want to cut. I want a new body because I want to tweak this. So, yeah, that's not awful. It's not good, but it's not awful. Let's say 10. There you go. Now you can, of course, do your fillets. 
adding some stuff around there. Let's say one millimeter fillet, round out the edges. Okie dokie. Probably should have rounded that out first. Again, we're not going for over detail, obviously. <clears throat> that kind of sort of works. And what the heck, we'll even we'll even draw in some pins. So I'll create a another sketch right on top of that. Why is it rotating on me? Uh, let's do a pin right about there. Let's say a five millimeter pin. And let's do another one. Move the, that. I want a copy of it instead. So boop. I don't know. There-ish. Sure. There we go. And now I'm just going to extrude that to that. Extent type. Two object. The bottom. I don't want to cut. I want to simply create new bodies. Okay. There we go. And that would be a really simple way of working. So I'm going to shift back to color. And what do you know? Or the appearance. What do you know? It's already steel. That works. We'll bring up appearance. I said bring up the appearance. And for this, we can actually use what it's kind of sort of supposed to be. So wood, mm, walnut. There you go. And let's use what, what kind of metal? Something shiny. Chrome. No, let's make it different. Bronze. There you go. Polished bronze for those little pins. Boop. Close. All right. Now, in this case, technically, yes, you would want to. The last step would be to go and join these, combine these together. But for now, I'm going to. We can avoid that if you want. Just that way you don't have to mess with um, uh, different surface or uh, mess with uh Changing, uh, changing out appearances by faces versus by bodies. So you can just let them float. That's okay. I'm not. You don't have to join them. But that is a simple way to make a kind of okay knife. <laughs> so we'll open up my nightmare spoon. We'll uh, move that over a little bit just so we can get that thing out of the way. There you go. Activate all the things. Done. And why not? Let's make that something, something, something. I don't know. Because of course it's plastic. Ooh. Yeah, red metal flake spoon. There you go. All right. So a couple of different ways you can approach this, different ways you can play with. Especially the, like I said, the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the circular, uh, the circular symmet symmetry tool, it works with round things best and with, you know, even amounts of, or even or odd amounts of faces, but it works best if you can kind of divvy it up evenly. Uh, and uh, also different ways you could create something like a, um, something like a blade or something that isn't excuse me, thick into the same at the same rate. That's how uh, deleting faces and welding vertices together is how you can create um, uneven surfaces like that. So are there other ways of creating something like that? Absolutely. Is that the best way to do it? No, but it's a quick, it's a quick way just to get you started, just to kind of figure out. And like I said, you're very welcome for like the handle here in the knife. You're very welcome to use um, to fall back on other, uh, other, uh, methods that you've used so far. Same thing we did for, it's basically the same thing we did for creating the holes in the other spoon. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that's uh, just gives you some ideas of what else you could do. I save that there. <laughs> Why not? Done, done, done. All right. Good luck with it. Play around, get lost, and uh, try to find your way back. <laughs>